There's another hoop fish. Okay. Eat the hoop fish. What else? What was that? You're gonna get eaten. Oh, that's a little penguin out. <laughs> That's so, guys, why do you keep. That's so weird that you keep saying I want to eat little penguinos. <laughs> Howdy, my name is Good Guy, Michael, to make two channel. Welcome back to more Subnautica Sub Zero. Okay, oh my goodness, fish are flying through our little base. Guys, today, or I should say yesterday, we started and we. The base got bloated up. We didn't get to take a prawn suit. The space facility said my name. There's some cutie up in the clouds yelling down at me. It was it was a great day. It was a great day. So what do we have in the storage area? I really, really hope that we don't have to eat one of those little guys. It's gonna make me very sad if we have to eat one of them. Although, not, you know, wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so can we make a knife? We need titanium and silicon rubber. Uh, how do we get titanium in this area is my question because it's not like there's pieces of metal just floating around unless there still are oh, check this out ribbon plants and two ribbon plants and a copper so the batteries are from different things in this area oh look at silicon is from a uh, creep vine seed cluster which just is different color because it's you know a different area so what we need to start with is obviously a knife it sounds like waterproof locker and we need some titanium for now okay hold on can I can I drop these little penguins in here. No, they. No, I cannot. Ah, oh, dang it. So until until something changes, I need to uh, I need to find some titanium somehow. I don't even know where to start. Is there just is there going to be aurora fragments still floating around in this water? Are there are there going to be limestone clusters like there was in the in the other area? Hey, there we go. There's some titanium. Okay, so apparently getting titanium is going to be a lot more. Yeah, that's right. I know how to play this game. Capture capture all the fish. Subjugate them. Turn them into food. Of course. I'm old hat at this at this point. Um, are there... There's those... So these are the ribbon, ribbon plants, which are the new sort of replacement for mushrooms, I guess. Um, I'm not seeing a whole lot of limestone fragments, which I'm guessing that I need. Also, gonna have to be careful what's above me, apparently, because I think you can get stuck underneath some limestone or underneath ice. Which would be uh, less than super dope. Um, guys, thank you so much for spending some time with me. I, oh, grab trap fragment. Already getting that sort of cool stuff. That's something I never built. Thank you for spending some time with me today. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you guys appreciate it as much as I do. If you do, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you're new here. And welcome. If you guys are new to this channel, this is your first sort of run-in with the good guy Mike. I say welcome. And I also say that uh, you guys should go ahead and check out the old Subnautica series. There's a lot of Subnautica content on this channel. Uh, go ahead and check it all out. So, at the moment, we're just doing the, doing the whole classic mumbo-jumbo of, you know, collecting enough stuff so that we can make it all the sorts of cool gear. Um, it sounds like, it sounds like, uh, Soraya? Sandra. Sandra, who's up in the cloud. Um, sounds like Sandra it wants us to go get some food. So, oh look, there's a sea glide fragment. Okay, keep a note of where that's at. Um, we are yet to find any Mr. Bites, which is good, I suppose. I mean, it's 100% good, right? Like, there's no way that that could be bad. Oh, guys, what is bad is that good guy Mike is 30 seconds into the game, and he's gonna die. Okay, look at that. <laughs> you guys thought I was gonna die. That's hilarious. Good guy Mike is an expert at this game. You got nothing to worry about. You guys are in safe hands. Okay, so we have... I think we have enough titanium to make a knife. Although, honestly, the first thing we should make is an air tank. Um, let's go ahead and grab the glass out of here. We have enough titanium for both, I believe. So, let's go ahead and personal... Um, air tank is a fiber mesh. Okay, so we do need to build a knife first. Which is a-okay. Uh, silicon rubber. Daggummit. Okay, so we need to run over to the creeper, the creeper vine cluster area, which is over this away, I think. Guys, this is so crazy. Like getting getting reoriented um, after playing Subnautica for so long. I have no clue where everything's at. I used to just swim in a, uh, in a direction that I knew had creeper vine clusters. Now, no more. I think this area has creeper vine clusters. Let's find out. Yes. See, look at bingo. Although I should have. What a good person, what a person who is decent at Subnautica would have done is uh, dropped off sort of his inventory in the uh, area there. But alas, good guy Mike has his own plans, has his own wonderful, wonderful plans that you guys can't tell him to change. Okay, we got enough 
Creeper Vine Cluster for three lifetimes. That's not true. Maybe half a lifetime. Although, technically anything's enough for, uh, enough for a lifetime. It just depends on how fast you're living, right? Okay, I know, I know, I just need the copper. We're gonna go, oh, guys, ooh. This is 100% the big one. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you guys are just, I like to, I like to keep you guys on the edge of your seat. Um, very, very super extreme edge of your seat. Also, question mark, are we going to have to pay for this little base here? So, if you guys remember in the original Subnautica, when the when you first found uh, diamonds, also that guy is 100% our version of Mr. Bitey. When you first find diamonds, the, uh, the PDA very kindly informs you that um, you have to pay for them. So, I'm kind of curious if we're going to get charged for the, uh, the diamonds in this sort of sense. Also, what is this thing? An air bladder? Oh, we don't need that. Um, let's go ahead and we'll make a water though, because the thirst is real with this one. Um, okay, just listen to the way that she talks to Sandra. You know the thirst is real. Um, okay, and then we'll eat the eye thing as well, which is a little more gross, but that's okay. Um, we're gonna go ahead and eat that. We're gonna drink that. Look at that, guys. 100%. We're doing great. Okay, uh, we apparently have a lot more silicon rubber to make, although let's make a lubricant so that when we get the chance to make a sea glide, because fun fact, I don't think that things are gonna go much better at this point. Um, okay, so we should be able to make an air tank here. Fiber mesh. Ah, that's right. Uh, we can't make fins though, so you guys can make sure that you're not, you know, slamming your face on your keyboard so hard that you hurt your faces too bad. Um, let's go ahead and make one or two more. Oh my goodness, guys, I missed my first chance at MLG counting. Oh, I'm such a fool. How do you guys watch this content? Okay, let's go and make another glass since we just got this all in our inventory. Make another glass since we got this all in our inventory. Also, there doesn't seem to be an energy like signature anywhere on here. Okay, and then let's go ahead and throw it all in here. Let's just go ahead and just toss it all away, except for the knife, because we need that. All right, so we got ourselves some, oh my goodness, look at how much faster we're going. Easy peasy, okay. So, we came from roughly this direction for the creeper vine clusters. Oh, look at there was, what? How far away did I swim? I swam so much further away than I had to, didn't I? You guys are probably screaming that at me. Look at me, pull with my little knife play. I'm such a, such a cool, such a cool character. I'm so broody. Okay. Um, so we have our, we have the creeper, or yes, creeper vine. So now that we can make a, um, also, is this guy gonna need, you need a stabbing? You need me to get... Frisky with my stabbing knife. Um, okay, so let's go ahead make ourselves a fiber mesh grab out some titanium Cool, and that should be enough to we'll make another oh my goodness guys is it time it is time for MLG counting he's got to oh pfft. <laughs> Oops, I didn't mean to get you excited. Like you guys didn't get too excited over that. Did you? Okay, cool. Look at that new blueprint synthesized a beacon Sounds great what do I do with this beacon? Um, I think that we should... Okay. Let's see what other tools we can make. Can we make the rest of the tools yet? Um, we can make floating air pump, first aid. Can we make... We can make the repair tool, which is crystalline sulfur, which is interesting. Um, survival knife, flashlight, pathfinder tool. Deploys a holographic pathfinder discs used, used to map a way back... Uh, out of caves or hard to navigate spaces max 20 discs per path interesting and then the air bladder so the scanner the scanner is the next thing that we're going to want to make which is two of these things right here one of these and then a titanium cool all right make a bat look at that make the bat then we make the gat do we get a gat in this one? Oh my goodness guys i hope they give us some sort of gun so that we can we can shoot the native population right all right can we self-scan ourselves Oh, we just point that right in our face. Self-scan. Nope, no need to self-scan, apparently. Let's start. How much of this stuff do we already understand? Not much of it. Pick ribbon plant. Now, I want to learn about the ribbon plant. What's it say? Energy. <laughs> Energy description, generic description. Nice. What about this one? Did it just copy over from Sonotica? These unusual geological structures often form around titanium, copper deposits and are to sink to this planet. Closer analysis reveals the stone around the metal has hardened against erosion, but the mechanism remains unknown. Titanium and copper source. Pow, give me that titanium. So, we got some food, we got some gear. Um, How much for, oh my goodness, guys, I wanna scan the little penguinos. Oh, look at, they're all in the water. They're so sweet. Okay, come here. 
What's this say? And it's just life form. Young penguins uh, tend to huddle on dry land and await their next meal. Consumes almost exclusively fresh or fish or shade from adults in the huddle. They say at the center of the huddle, the warm, the wind's out. Separate, the huddle uh, becomes agitated. Begin searching for the young peng uh, penguinos, so please don't do this. Oops. Yeah. So, let's go ahead and return the little penguinos. Hey, guys. You know what? I'm going to keep them. They're my circus pets now, okay? Um, also, oh, the grav sphere and the, um, the sea glide. Let's make a sea glide, guys. You think that we can get to the sea glide in this first episode? This seems like a bit of a tall order, but it's a, I think it's 100% a possibility. It depends on how plentiful the fragments are. So there was this one right here. Um, and then it also depends on if it's the old Subnautica, like, scan two and you're good. Oh, it's scan three. Okay. Um, I think that we could do it. Also, grav sphere is an interesting one. I don't, I... I should experiment with the grav sphere. You know, I never used one, so I just sort of assumed it wasn't like super great or super useful, but I bet you that that analysis is not based in fact. It's probably gonna be like the sea glide. So if you guys remember, like, for the first 50 episodes of Subnautica, I just skipped the sea glide and went straight to the sea moth. And then I was finally like, ah, oh, let's go ahead and try the sea glide. And I loved it. It, it changed the whole way that I played the game. Uh, and so I'm gonna guess that probably the um, the grav sphere is like a similar deal where like you come back to it and it already has all your stuff aggregated and sorted out for you and it like pats you on the head and tells you that you did good at school today you know that sort of thing um, okay guys I'm looking for sea glide fragments in case you were uh, unaware so if you see one please slam head on keyboard with such ferocity that I have what the Sam Hill is this what are you can I eat you Oh my goodness, a titan whole fish. <laughs> That's, uh, the don't, guys, don't, come on. It's inappropriate to look at the titan's hole. Okay, uh, indigenous life form, titan whole fish. A large, docile herbivore emits oxygen and is defended by small, aggressive symbiotes, which accompany them. Slow, stupid, and delicious. <laughs> Complex gills lend the inside of the hole, draws cold water in, emitting warm, oxygen rich water in place, tracks symbiosis. Titan whole fish is evolved entirely beyond. So somehow I can get oxygen out of those guys. I know that I didn't read the whole thing, but I was. Terrified that I was gonna, you know, end up running out of air, so I decided to take the hit on that. So, it says that it has a defender. Um, are these guys, these guys must be the Titan Hole Fish defenders, huh? So, oh, check that out. Oh, look at, oh, but it's his little symbiotes are mad at me, okay. Interesting, so, huh, cool. What a neat, a little, what a neat little, like, addition. Also, there's a second grav trap fragment. Let's go ahead and read what that does real quick. Uh, or not. I guess or not. Um, okay. We're still looking for sea glide fragments. There's another one, it looks like. Nope, that's just, uh, it's just quartz crystal. Um, you guys see a sea glide fragment? Please. Bang head, on keyboard, such ferocity. So fierce, uh, that I have no choice but to acknowledge the fact that there is a sea glide fragment. Um, let's go ahead and... We're actually gonna run out of inventory space here in a little bit. Oh, no we aren't. Pfft. We're gonna run out of oxygen though if we don't get to the side of this uh, this ice sheet right here. Goodness, talk about a new hazard. Interesting, interesting like new mechanic in the game. Um, also, how many episodes until I run into the first? Oh, hey, look, there's another sea glide fragment. Um, how many episodes until I run into the first Leviathan? There has to be, there has to be some, right? Like, there's no way that there's. Oh, look at that, and another one, guys. Don't worry, I heard you. I heard you banging your faces. I knew that you guys saw that fragment there, and were telling me to go look at it, and thus I did. Um, guys, this is like a whole cave system over here. Wow. Um, so, I guess these creeper vines are good indicators of when we are, like, approaching an area where we can access the roof. Um, okay, let's see. I think that I'm actually gonna start heading back, um, because... Oh, look at that. 30 oh, 30 seconds of auction. Oh, and we got a silver already. Cool. So I think I'm going to head back to the, the main area because the, uh, the, 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 we have the sea glide now. And the sea glide going to make it so we can zip around oh so fast. Oh so nice. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Signal location up. Robin, the boss wants a sit rep. I'm cold. I lost all my gear and I'm no wiser to what's going on. But I'm alive. I can't authorize another drop. Hold on. There's an emergency cache. 
Hasn't been touched since the scouts landed six months ago. Could be useful. Send me the cords. On your HUD. Cool! So we just got a new location. Look at that, 400 meters away, and just in time for us to get the sea glide. Oh my goodness, guys, do you think we can do that all in one episode? Guys, that feels like, that feels almost, hold on, can I scan this thing? What is it gonna tell me? That I don't already know. That's weird. I guess nothing. <laughs> okay, so I think we're gonna need the lubricant, uh, the titanium. We're gonna definitely need a battery. Let's go ahead and just double check. So it is in deployables, sea glide, battery, lubricant, copper wire. Easy peasy, guys. We're gonna need these two guys. Perfect. Um, and then we make our bat. We're then gonna generate our copper wire. Guys, oh my goodness. And then do we do you think we take this stuff with us or? No, we definitely want to have, like, nothing in our inventory. Although we are starting to get a little hungry, which is not super awesome. Oh my goodness, those penguinos, they look so delicious, don't they, guys? I mean, <laughs> I would never eat a penguin. That's so, that's so weird that you guys would say that. Okay, um, sea glide, here we go. Okay, and then we will go ahead and look in our box, and we'll pet the little penguin heads, see the little penguinos, okay. Good stuff, guys, sea glide. We're ready, maybe. Should we get some food first? Okay, let's get some, let's get some food. That'll take us all of 30 seconds. Maybe. Assuming that this big guy doesn't- Get out of here! That's my hoop fish! Okay. Um, can I eat him? What was that? There's a- there's a bladder fish. Perfect. Um, and then there's a- look at- here's a- No, get out of here! That's my- that's my- There's another hoop fish. Okay. Eat the hoop fish. What else? What was that? You're gonna get eaten. Oh, that's a little penguino. <laughs> That's so, guys, why do you keep, that's so weird that you keep saying I want to eat little penguinos. I would never, because, because this would, okay, I would, I, okay, I only ate a penguino once. I mean, I didn't eat a penguino. That's so, oh no, I didn't mean to cook that. Oh, that's worthless. Okay. Um, it's so weird that you guys would think I would eat one of those little penguino things. It's not like they're small and that their flesh is significantly more delicious than the adults. Because it's softer and more innocent. Okay, listen, there's a there's emergency cash over here. Let's stop talking about how you guys want to eat those penguinos, you big weirdos. Okay. Um, okay, let's change this so that it does the, the flashlight, but not the map. Because the map's good when we're trying to find things, like tubes and stuff like that. But uh, not super awesome when we're just trying to get to emergency caches. Um, oh my goodness, guys, it feels so good to be back in Subnautica. I mean, it's sort of funny to say because, you know, I'm currently, like, playing the original Subnautica, but, you know, it feels feels cool, I guess. Um, sorry, I know that I'm distracting from the, the the task at hand, but, you know, guys, sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta risk it. So, is this gonna all be under ice and I'm just gonna, you know, show up there and I'm gonna... What? Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. Okay, wait, there we go. <laughs> it was playing, playing silly, silly ice games on me. All right. Um... All right, look at that. There's an, so there is an emergency cache. Is it just a little? Is it just a little like, um, like flat base area? Oh my goodness, guys! I don't know if you can hear that, but that's telling me that we're 100 percent out of time. What's this? High capacity O2 tank? Who bit me? I wasn't even touching your hoop fish. Okay, so that's our emergency cache. Is a new O2 tank? That's a little. I want to be like disrespectful or anything, but, uh, I could have used a, like, a, um, look at that. Replenish our oxygen, that's so cool. So, am I missing something? Can we scan the little base here? No. So, do we just not get the chance to build the base? I don't know. Anyways, so guys, we're actually out of time today, so I'm super, super sorry, uh, but it is time for me to go. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you guys appreciate it much as I do. If you do, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and welcome. You guys, keep being good guys, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye-bye!